Hey everyone, this is part three of this uh, OpenVPN bridged mode video tutorial. Now we are going to dive into OpenVPN's own configuration. We are going to see some important aspects of OpenVPN. What we are going to dive into is the client config dir directive. As you see on this comment, this directory contains files with parameters to set up some of the clients that are connecting to the OpenVPN server. This CCD here, this is the name of the directory. You can name this directory whatever you want. This is a subdirectory under the slash etc slash OpenVPN directory. So be very careful to uh, create this directory under the HOM of OpenVPN, the OpenVPN's HOM directory. What this directive does, it tells OpenVPN that it has to look for configuration files for specific clients when it is making the connection progress. As I told you on the first part of the video, I am connecting not just Road Warrior clients to my computer, not just single computers, but entire computer subnetworks. So, I need special parameters pushed to each of the clients that is connecting. For instance, I have here uh, one of the routes that is being pushed to the clients on the networks. You can see that I am pushing a route for the 252.0 network, uh, one for the 111.0 network and one for the 0.0, .0 network. Also, I am pushing some special DHCP options as uh, two domain name servers and a Wins server, which is uh, a very nice solution to browse Windows network neighborhood. So let's go into more details of the CCD client config directory. On this directory, you have to create, or at least you gotta have, files named after the certificates that you previously created for your connecting clients. For example, we're going to be watching client 01 file. As you can see, it's a simple text file that will be pushing an IP address and a subnet max to the client name 01. So this client, it'll get this IP address. It will always get that IP address and it will also get this information pushed to it. So it'll get these routes and the DHCP options. We're going to go to client 02. As you can see, this is a more complex file. You can see as the first statement that we have is a push reset. So everything that was sent to this client is reset. So it will receive an if config push statement. It'll get the dot 20 IP address, its subnet mask, and it will also receive two route pushes for network 222, for network 252, and for network 0.0. .0. Why are we doing this? Because this client is connecting from the 111 network. So we don't want to send him the gateway address for its own network because it will get confused. Uh, so as the comment says here, this means that we will not pass any configuration options from the global OpenVPN server config to the connecting OpenVPN client of site V. We don't want to pass the routes for his own LAN to site V because he already knows them and he will get confused. So that is why we create or we have to create a CZD directory and create a file named after the client that we will be connecting. This is the case for everything that you want to do with your OpenVPN server. If you want to connect a client and you want that client to always get the same address, you do as I did with the client 01 that always gets 192.168.222.10 address. So that client will always get that address. We see another example. 
For example, this is site C. It also resets the parameters that it was sent. It will get the point 30 IP address, also a subnet mask. It will get two routes. So uh, in my example, in my own case, this is a client connecting from the 222 network. So it doesn't need those routes because he already knows them. So he will get the routes to the 111 network and to the 0.0, .0 network. I think you get the picture on this. So we're going to move on and see what this setup exactly does. Well, here it is, the portion of the log that I was telling you about earlier. We can see that client 02 from this IP address is in fact connecting and reading client as specific options from the directory ccd slash and the file that we created, in this case client 02. And client 03 also connecting from another IP address and also read its client specific configuration from the client 03 file. This shows us that client configuration directory is working and that it is throwing each of the connecting clients their specific configuration options. Another important aspect I want to bring up to your attention is the use of the CCD dash exclusive directive on server.com file. When this directive is uncommented, no clients will be allowed access if they don't have a file with their connecting name or the name of their certificate under the CCD directory. So the client won't be allowed to connect. But in my case, I want clients to connect without having an entry under the CCD directory. So what do I do? I commented out the CCD dash exclusive parameter on the server.com file and what we see here on the log is that this client connected it was verified but we see that multi says that no dynamic or a static remote if config address is available for client 01 so this client is passing through our OpenVPN server and he is broadcasting a request for a DHCP address. When the client connects, it will get its address from our DHCP server, add its forward and reverse map to our zone files. That is very important. And remember to recap, if CCD dash exclusive is commented out, your clients can connect even if they don't have a file under the CCD directory, but if CCD exclusive is being used, your clients will be denied access because they don't exist on the CCD directory. Well, this wraps it up for part three of the OpenVPN Bridged Mode Server video tutorial.